Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the horse mines. Where we need to find a star, because we need 12 more of them to uh, open the door to the king's castle. Oh, kind of thought that green burrow would drop some health. Lame. Oh, I see. The, uh... The ranger closes one eye when you draw back the, uh, the bow. It changed again! Ever since the Calamity showed up, these dungeons keep changing whenever I leave. I'm never gonna make it to the end if the walls keep shifting. That's good to know. I had heard that this game uses, uh, procedural generation to make the dungeons, but that it is not a, uh, a roguelike. Need that. Oh, get off the circles, get off the circles. Oh, good, there's more of them. And that one has a crown, even. Walked away from a guy with a crown. Oh, I poisoned you. Stand still and wait for the poison to do its thing. Jeez, that guy dropped an upgrade token. Uh, star enemies or crown enemies must be a real problem. Damn it! Fuck! Where are you getting all these eyeballs, you little freak? Ooh, thunder outside. Hope I make it to the end of the session, knock on wood. Oh, oh shit, oh fuck. Yeah! Quest complete! guys attack real quick, but first I'm going to redeem this. D! Unlock Arrow Flurry. Hold to fire a flurry of arrows. Costs 45 mana a second. Good to know. Or maybe I could just try that. Wrong one. Oh shit, upgrade token. Don't mind me. Fuck. Ah! Uh. Finally, a treasure chest I can reach! Oh, I did find one earlier, didn't I? Just had some stuff in there like that. Yes, yes. I forgot. Mm. 
another one. Damn it. Yeesh. Blank Psycho. This looks important. Slash three sword slash three baddies at once. Sword uh, sword slash deals sharp damage. What's that? Oh yes, clear the horse mines. Sure, sure, sure. I guess that stands to reason if you need a bunch of them for every upgrade and there's all these different forms. What's 
with the big tubs of water, by the way? I don't think that uh, miners traditionally have hot tubs in the middle of the day. Nice. Oh, shit. For some bleep stomp baddies. Stomp more baddies. That's the next level. Hey, up to C, which means I unlock horse. Form unlocked horse. Kickback unlocked. Applies the impact effect. Baddies take blunt damage when knocked into the walls or each other. Restores eight mana. Horsepower unlocked. Signature moves restore plus four extra mana when used to break objects. Interesting. Level up! Good, good. Well, we are in the horse mine, so I'm definitely going to try that out. Yep, I appear to be a horse. All right. Oh, and my regular attack is behind me. But I can still block myself in one direction, so... I guess two numbers are popping up, because one for the kick and one for kicking him directly into the wall he was standing in front of. fight. Or the quest for the horse. Defeat baddies with kickback. Reminder, hold right trigger to lock your direction. Hey, I did figure that part out on my own. Damn, we're almost up to kill baddies. I killed 94 dudes since I took that quest. I don't know if I should take a uh, unleveled form into a boss fight, but uh, fuck it, it is the horse mines. <laughs> Attack speed is very slow. But I do hit like a goddamn train when it lands. Quest complete, kill baddies. I just redeem that so we can get the next level. Kill baddies, and it's up to 250 now. So that does make sense. That it gets harder over time. need to take the uh, dietary restrictions into account. Thank God, this attack is all about kickback. And it's literally what it's called. I think it was called, no I think knockback was the term I was actually thinking of there, but yeah. Impact damage. Upgrade the horse, and... Gallop unlocked. Hold the zoom forward, trampling anyone in your way. Move speed plus 50%, cost 30 mana a second. Ok, 
Okay, yes, good. I think the quest for uh, the second level kickback is... Oh, I see. Is specifically for uh, killing them with the extra damage they take from hitting a wall. Hey, there's a horse over there. On the right. Chest! Quest complete, clear the horse mines dungeon. Oh, I freed the horses! There was a bunch of horses around. The horse lets out a whinny. Oh, Jesus. This moment. You whinny back. You're happy to help. Quest discovered fall in love? Experience unbridled love. This is because I was also a horse, isn't it? Dungeon horse mines. Let's redeem that. Look at that. I'm up to nine uh, stars already. Oh, right. Yes, I need to break objects and uh, gain mana. No, these are just cells. I freed the horses. I have done a good thing. Uh, I think I've been everywhere. Yeah, this isn't a very complicated dungeon, level one and all that. And I'll just be another horse running out of the dungeon. The horse offers you some cud, but you aren't in the mood. Can I talk to them when I am not a horse? This horse doesn't care about your problems. The horse stares at you with a blank expression. It's just a dumb horse. It's just a dumb horse. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it is actually because I was a horse. Oh, hey, there I am. This horse gives a subtle nod of recognition. This stallion seems uh, looks happy to see a new face. I don't remember you from inside. The yellow one here. Now this is a horse. Your horsey eyes have never beheld such beauty. Nervously, you distract yourself by eating some grass. But the majestic stud is the same idea as you dip your heads, your moist noses touch. You raise your eyes to meet his, and the feeling is electricity. This is the horse you've been waiting for, the stallion you've dreamed of your whole horsey life. Of all the strange feelings that come with being a horse, the one feeling you never expected was love. Achievement unlocked pony love. Experience true love. <laughs> this is goofy. Sure, experience unbridled love. I do love the pun there, by the way. Level up! Hell yeah, 1200 base health. That's pretty good. Okay! I have done a good thing for all horse kind. I just need to drain my mana some. So that when I go around kicking things, I gain mana from it and it helps the quest. this reminds me of, of all the fucking things. I played the, uh, the Beavis and Butthead game on the Sega Genesis when I was a kid. Probably when I was too young to watch the show, honestly. And, uh... You know, you find different weapons in that game. You know, like the, the dart guns or whatever, but... 
when you start the game, you only have one attack. If you're playing as Beavis, he, bar he belches and a little green cloud floats out of his mouth and uh, dissipates right in front of him. But if you catch someone right in front of him with a belch, it does damage. Oops. On the other hand, if you're playing as Butthead, he bends over and lets a fart rip, and it sends a gray cloud out behind him. So like the horse, you have to be facing away from whatever it is you want to damage if you're playing as Butthead. That was a weird game, but it had the Guar seal of approval, so uh, who can argue with that? <laughs> of course, I suppose most people give them their seal of approval if they were in the game. Silliness. Yes, the game is literally about Beavis and Butthead trying to get Guar tickets back since they uh, lost them. But, um... I'm rambling about something totally unrelated at the moment, so I'm just gonna kill these guys over here. And call it a session. Oh shit, I forgot. Ah! And these are getting stronger, and this is also an awkward attack, so. Right. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play... I just remembered I need to save the game. Of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World, now that nobody has saved the game, when we, uh, head off for the Tower of Atonement and see what kind of stars we can get there. Till then. Later.